how to record an effect in a strand lighting MX board. First of all, to create the effect, go up to the record button and select the record. First thing you do is select that before you do anything else. Next, you will notice that a little screen will come up and it will ask you what kind of recording. I always leave it in output, which means whatever is happening on stage will be what is recorded into your effects or your cues. Select which one of the effects you would like to edit or activity, one through six. I'm going to select three. Now that you've got that selected, ignore the chase build cycle flicker and random. If you want to do that on the fly, you can program it in. I usually do it as I edit or run the effects. So now come on over to the left hand side of the board, the A row, the very top one, and select a few random lights you want to include here. So it's just a little classroom theater, so I'm just going to throw up some quick random low lights into this one. Okay, there's a couple ones. Now that i got a couple lights at the levels I want them, uh, I select Step. That will take me you to the next step. You can have, for each activity, you can have 48 steps. No more than that, the board does not support it. So now that I've moved to the next one, clear off everything you got now, bring up some new random ones, Let's see here. There we go, that's the next one. Hit step again. Once again, just keep repeating this process as you select lights that you want in there. There we go, way back over there again. And hit step. Now once you go through it and you record all the steps you would like, come back to the record and turn it off. Now the board's back to its standard setup. You can come back here and clear off all the lights you have up. Now to actually run it, what you do is you go up to the top. I have recorded um, number one earlier today. So I select number one because I want to run that. I select do I want chase, build, cycle, flicker, or random. You can also do an audio where it comes into the board and your effects will be run off of the sound, but we don't have that set up here. So let me do chase for now. Um, now you come on down here and you have um, flicker fade time, which is just like fade between lights, how long it goes up and down. I have that set zero for a quick flash. Um, step time, now that's how long it hangs in each step. I'm going to set that to about two seconds right now. And then your fade master, which I always usually leave up, and I edit the levels inside each cue um, or each step when I do it. Um, you can adjust these as the effects are running, and I'll show you that in a little bit. But now that gives you kind of how long the fade is for it to come in, how long each step should hang on before it moves to the next one, and the, how bright it should be or what level it should be at. So I'm already selected into one and I know that because the, the light immediately above or below the one is on. Come down here I got what kind of effect I want and do I want to go forward through the effects backwards and reverse or just bounce around randomly. I'm going to leave it going forward. So go to the go stop. I press the go and stop and as you can see, it's just kind of randomly cycling through, chasing after each one. Excuse me. They got build where it adds in light after light. That one's kind of looking a little funny. And the way I set this up, you got cycle, which just goes right down the list of all the cues. Flicker, which just randomly flickers the lights. Um, and random, which is just random. Now, let me go back to cycle. Now, I'm going to mess with the step timer here. And you can see I can go really fast, or I can slow it right down just by affecting the step timer. The step timer, once again, is this one right here. And this is the one I'm altering to affect how quick those flashes are looking out there. It's about as fast as it goes, and this is about as slow as it goes. It almost looks like nothing's happening. So it comes from 0 0.05 seconds all the way down to 10 seconds or manual. I really vary it, um, kind of the music, kind of what I'm doing for the show, or whatever it happens. So, and if you wanted to, and right in the middle of the queue, you can edit this. You can also edit in additional actions. So now I've selected number two here, but you notice there's an orange light above the number one. That means that is still running. Now if I would press go and stop and two, I've just added in two into the series of effects here. 
hit stop, I pull out just two. To stop one, I need to select one again and hit the go or stop button. I press the go or stop button and it stops everything. This is just a basic run through on how the effects work in the Strand Lighting MX board. Um, this is mostly meant for our classroom space, so there may be some slight variations uh, if you have an audio hookup into the board or not. But I hope this helps you figure out how to program it and run it.